I thought I want to make a quick video about the new user interface that Square Enix released on Final Fantasy XI on the test server. So I thought I might get my thoughts on it because I spent some time on it to see the pros and cons. So I'm going to get my thoughts on it. And um, the new user interface is not that bad. It has uh, a way of making you uh, go through more uh go to the menu list it has its own windows to uh move around position them uh either lock it or exit out they give you all these open menus that you can pull them all out at once all at one time all at the same time but it, but the problem is that if you do that it kind of blocks everything out so it's like they want you to uh, put them all in one side so you can see where you at even though it's transparent but it's still kind of troubling to see where you're going um, the other thing that I have an issue with is the macro now you have to use the mouse to click the macro or use the keyboard and use either control alternate or the numbers not not the numbers on the left side of the keyboard but the numbers on the left side so you have three ways of using your macros and the one problem is that you have no choice but to use your mouse now back then the you can i think you i don't know if you can set your controller to uh, let it be control or alternate. I think I, I may have to do a little more testing on that again, but if it doesn't work, you'll be kind of forced to use the keyboard to use your macros, or you have to use your mouse to use it. I think you won't have to use your control anymore to do it, so that would be kind of troubling for those who uh, use the control for macros. You just click it, uh, the, uh, the being on screen, being a click like you want, and it'll disappear. But this one, it stays on the screen, and I don't know if you can minimize it, but like it's, but it's still testing in progress. Um, the macros is a little more easier. It kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV, where you have all these macro sets and you can uh set it to where you um make it a little easier to uh create your macros um you can also put an icon to let you know what magic it is and you can change the color of the uh the box so you will know which one it is but my gripe about it is that they still doesn't give you a lot of macro slots to use they still give you that same six macro slots which is kind of stupid I thought it would at least give you like four more macro slots but it's still staying with six but like I say it's still in progress but look what well actually not a good thing but I mean you already had ten macro sets but uh, I think each set it give you like 10 slots I think no 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 I'm wrong no I think it was uh they give you a macro a macro set each uh, each uh, each job you can use and each that each macro set it give you like 10 uh, 10 slots to use but for this one for the macro set it give you three slots to use from control alternate and numbers it gives you three each macro set but the old interface each uh, macro book it gives you ten slots from one to ten it, it gives you ten so it's like it, they cut down from ten, I think it's ten or twelve macro slots to three and the macro books it only gives you ten I think it was 16 macro books 
on the old interface, so it's, I think they cut it down in that one too. Uh, the bazaar is a little more easier, but it, it's just the same way as the uh, the item menu. They just they just all in the same uh, menu from the. No, that's another thing that kind of bothers me. It's like if you're going to add the bizarre menu in the same item uh, menu list, why not just remove bizarre from from the commands? Because they're all going to be the same one. Uh, it has the item. It has the uh, icon to use the what uh, items, uh, medicines, and all that. And it has the bizarre. It's all on the same. Under menu command, so it's like why they have a name move? Sorry, it wouldn't make, it makes no sense to keep it if you put them in the same category. Uh, the, the key item is a lot more easier. You know, you don't have to wait for it to load up. You know, all you have to do is click and it's pop right in. And you'll see all the key items that you have, and the only way to see the description is that you have to click that key item. Temporary Abyss of the Boy, watch everything. And it's the same thing with the quest and missions. All of them in the same car same category, all of them load up pretty fast. You don't have to wait for it to uh, load up. Uh, it's, it's, that is kind of a good thing about that. I see no, see no complaints on it. Um, the config is it's the same way, but I think they changed it up a bit. Um, this time, the log window, they give you two log windows. I don't know why. I don't know what it's for, but I, I guess they're trying to make it more modern MMO, but I don't know. They, they have to add more into it because they just, why would you put both and not give one of uh, giving more options that you can use a log window for just for chatting and everything and another log window just for battle so they have to give you more options i hope they do because if they release it like this is there's no point to having both log windows everything's just the same key assignment oh another thing i don't know what uh, a new thing that they added in, I don't uh, is the building user list and the magic user list. I don't know about that. It's kind of scratching my head. I don't think they, I think they say something about that on the forums, but I'm gonna just need that on for now because I probably not gonna bother it. Uh, they have everything in the mog house. You can. Click what you have from the storage, log safe, everything. Uh, the status, uh, it shows everything that you have. All you have to do is click and show your profile, your combat skills, magic. It all shows at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you want to look at your merit points, if you have just have to click it, all of that will be in the same status uh, menu list. Instead of the, the old user interface that you have to click Mert or Craft and then go to a different window, but this one is all on the same window. So all you have to do is just click it and you'll see what you have. The equipment, it has a new drag and drop system. Most MMOs use that, so it does kind of make sense to add it into there. So they give you kind of options you can use the controller to do it the old way just click to the head uh, slot and it's quick there or you can just drag it any way you want on each slot and it will equip it there or one more you can click and drag it to the head category and it will equip from there so you have kind of like three options the controller feature the drag the drag it up anyway or drag to that specific slot yeah, I almost forgot one thing. Um, you may have to drag the rings and the earrings to that specific slot. Because I don't think it's going to work if you 
this dragon ain't dropping anywhere. They may not, you may not know where it's going to hit, so you probably gonna have to drag and clip and drop it to that specific ring slot in the ring. Magic is a little different. Um, they have it in different categories. Uh, again, autumn is in the same magic menu list slot uh, command. But this time you have to. This time. Let me do that again. This time it has a recast timer. So you. you I think you can press recast if you want to. Or you can just look at the menu. And you can keep the menu list on the window. But eventually you have to cancel everything else. So it's eventually going to be gone. But you can keep it on the, the window. If you want to, uh, uh, it really isn't much of a difference. But other than that, you know the like I said, the macro thing. You're gonna have to use the keyboard or mouse to use the macro, and I think that's the most disappointing thing. And I'm kind of hoping that they let you use the control to use the macro slots. But I doubt that, so it's like you kind of, again, you kind of forced to use the keyboard and mouse to click the macro that you want. Or you just want to go to the old way and hit magic list, but you got to go, go through all that and click the uh, spell you want. But I already done it before, so it's kind of not of a big deal to me. I got to go either way, which one. Uh, at bullies, it's the same way. Uh, the party, accepting parties is it's a little different. Again, it's all in the same category, but the what they added is that you can seek party to different uh, languages. So that's kind of a little bit new to it. Uh, the search is a little different. I think it's not that difficult. I mean, all you have to do is just highlight the name, click search, and you'll probably find them. Uh, furnace is the same. Uh, the region of uh, what I should say, the map is a little bit easier to navigate. So, all you have to do is use your left mouse to click and hold, and you can just drag it anywhere. Because the old, the old user interface, you can't do that, and you have to wait for a while to head from left to right. But for this one, depending on how, how far the um, arrow goes, it's pretty much the farther it is, the faster you move. That's basically what it is. So that's pretty cool that they implement that. Uh, it's the same thing with the region. Region and map is pretty much the same thing. They both follow the uh, same idea. Uh, everything is, everything hasn't changed much, but I guess they're trying to switch it up to make it more modernized when when it comes to the user interface. But I think it still needs a lot more work, and I kind of hope that they release more updates to the user interface. And if I ever make another video about that, I'll probably post another one on the update of the user interface but mm, but the last thing i'm going to say is it's not that bad but at the same time there are some things that are kind of disappointing and i kind of hope that they may fix that but i think i don't see that happening i'm not sure and i kind of hoping that the, the mini map and the macros i hope you can move those around because it's kind of annoying that the macro is covering the mini map and you can't move the mini map but you can move the other menus from the menu command you can move all that but you can't move the macros or oh, no, the mini map is kind of retarded but other than that that's just about it